Good morning everyone, hey it's Keegan, welcome back to my channel. Today's video we are doing a college week in my life. Today is actually Tuesday, Monday was Labor Day. We had Monday off. I actually broke my laptop this weekend so I'm using, this one has all my Taylor Swift stickers on it. This is the one that I use for shipping out all my orders for my to-do list and everything. If you guys don't know, I low-key started my own company mm -hmm. and I make to-do lists and so this is the computer that I use for all the shipping things. I worked out and now I have some stuff to do before I go to class. I feel like this week is going going to be a pretty stressful week for me, which entertaining for you guys. Later today, we're gonna have to go to the Apple store to get my computer fixed. Basically what happened was I was using it, it was working great. I shut it just like this, you know, no big. And then I open it back up, completely black. And I was like, oh, it must be dead. Plug it in. I don't hear a ding, it's not charging. I was like, maybe it's the outlet. Okay, maybe it's the charger. Okay, my computer's done. I think that I'm going to have to wipe it clean because we like called them, did all the things and it didn't work. On the bright side, I can use my Taylor Swift laptop. These are all my Taylor Swift stickers from Amazon Prime and then Dizzy Dahlia's, Dahlia's, I don't know. I have to go to class. Most days I take the bus. Tuesdays and Thursdays my roommate takes me to school because we both have class at the same time, but she parks a little bit further away than the bus like drops us off. That makes me sense, so it's like a longer walk. And I wore this outfit today. White shirt, jean pants, because I didn't think I was gonna have to walk a long way. I feel like I'm gonna like sweat through this shirt. So do I change? I know this does not matter, but I'm like, do I really wanna sweat? It's gonna be like a hundred and something out today. This is what I changed into? I don't love it, but whatever. I'm actually uploading a video right now, hopefully it will be done before I need to leave. I feel scatterbrained and also overwhelmed with the amount of like little things that I need to do today. It also does not help that my computer is broken. I kind of have been like taking L's. Why? They come down this road. United Rental Studies saw that. It makes me look like I have those like feathered eyebrows. This Why is, is my face normal? <laughs> Are you, were you flipping off the camera? No, I should. Oh, I don't think you were flipping it off. Oh, big head. Wait. Oh my god. Like, feel it? The chipmunk. Yeah. <laughs> or the nose swirl. This really is so nostalgic. We're back from school now. I have to go to my Apple store appointment. I have to leave in 10 minutes. I feel like I'm go, 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 go. I feel like having classes later in the day has really been like, not as great as I was hoping for it to be. I think that the one thing that's really messing with my head is last year, I'm just so used to like being on Zoom and not really having to take into account like travel time. It takes an hour to get to school, like an hour to get home with like all the traffic, making sure that you're waiting on time. I feel like I have no time anymore. And so I feel like I've been really stressed about like, there's just so many like different factors, me feeling like I'm not having enough time. I think what I'm gonna do is transfer some things from my weekly to-do list onto my daily to-do list for today and tomorrow. I just feel like I have a lot going on and I think that always writing my to-do list like calms my like anxieties a lot just because I feel like I know exactly what I need to do, when I'm gonna do it. I feel like there's always like, oh my god, there's a million little things and I put them down on paper and it's like, okay, it's five things that I need to do. Not that big of a deal. Let's plan. I think it all came back When I was looking back at you off to the Apple store, wish me luck. Hopefully they don't have to wipe my computer clean. I'm really hoping they don't have to. Oh, how I've missed those signs. You must have missed mine too. Did you breathe? I must admit, I had a mental breakdown. I was in my car, broke down, bawling. Like I could barely see the road crying. It was, was bad. <laughs> me laughing about it now, my coping mechanism. I just feel really overwhelmed. I feel like this always happens beginning of the school year where I'm having a really hard time adjusting to my new routine. This routine is a lot different than it was last year. I just feel like I don't have enough hours in the day. I don't wanna cry again, oh my gosh. It was rough. I hate three day weekends with a passion. Like I'm glad that I was able to relax and like I needed that but now I'm not able to like breathe relax love them during the weekend hate them during the weekdays I've tried to do so many things I actually just like went through my closet this is a pile of all the things that I want to sell these are things that I want to wear like this week or like soon but yeah I think I'm gonna like sell them on Poshmark or Depop some of them are still like trendy so I will link my Poshmark and Depop I'm gonna call it for tonight but I just wanted to explain where I've been and let you know that if you're struggling adjusting to this new year I feel like a lumberjack 
goodness, flannel, but I love it. Not a cute outfit, but a cute flannel. Anyways, if you're struggling with anything, even with school, coming back in person, it's a big adjustment, and I just want you to know, you're not alone. We're all struggling. Don't trust social media, because everyone that looks like they're thriving, they're not. Proof is in the pudding, and I am the pudding. I don't know if that's the right way of using the phrase, but good night for now. Good morning. <laughs> it's 8.24 right now. I woke up at 7, which is the time I normally wake up every morning, and I just did not feel good. My stomach just felt like turned upside down, so I texted my trainer. I wake up every morning and I go work out. If you guys don't know, I feel like I talk about it, but maybe I don't. I don't know. There's some things that I'm like, did I not say that? But I texted her and I was like, I'm not feeling well. I can't come in today. And she's like, okay, $10 cancellation fee. And I was like, mm. I was like, do I feel well enough now? And then I decided no. And I'm glad I didn't go because I just don't feel great. But I'm literally wearing an outfit. And this isn't even the outfit I'm going to wear today. But I was cold, so I threw this flannel on. And then I was going through my clothes again. I don't know why. I really felt like I needed to like clean out my closet. And I went into like the jeans and I found these old jeans that I used to wear all the time. And I'm like, hmm, I remember why I love them. But yeah, this is not the outfit that I'm going to wear today. I probably have a heat stroke if I wore this outside. My pile has grown of things that I want to get rid of. I love looking at my closet now. It is so much like emptier. It looks so much better. I'm gonna make my bed now. I haven't made my bed in a while just because I haven't had time. And I'm kind of liking this not going to personal training. I have so much time, but I also need to prioritize like health and fitness, you know? Last night I was like feeling stressed and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna drink a margarita. I was like, I'll just make one myself, vibe, watch some TV, sip on a drink that I enjoy. I got drunk, so drunk. I had two because I was only gonna have one and then I was talking to my roommate and she was drinking wine. And I was like, okay, I'll pour myself another glass. And then I was like, ham not hammered, but I was like, whoa. And maybe that's why I don't feel great. I'm not like hungover, but I'm like, Hmm. This is my outfit for today. This is the shirt that I wanted to wear yesterday. It's a little see-through So I have my hair covering my nipples. I was gonna wear a bra, but I was like, I really don't want to This hat Sunbum sent it to me It's like their little logo and then these shorts are from Zara I found them when I was going through my clothes and I'm not sure if I want to sell them or not Like the short shorts are kind of like out of style now and plus like the chafing. I don't know I'm gonna try it out today. I also ran out of deodorant. I ordered some but it's not in the mail yet I might sweat through this shirt. That's okay. I have gotten so much done. I've done no no school work. I literally opened an assignment and I was like, I, no. But my friend Tori and I are getting coffee today like we do every Wednesday. And so I'll just get my work done there. If you would only know that you in my air for every second everywhere I go. Just got back. I have a little bit less than 30 minutes before I have a Zoom for a group project. I think Wednesdays are going to be an overall very busy day for me. But I have some packages. I think this is the deodorant I ordered. <laughs> I'll link this one down below. This deodorant is like a natural deodorant and I just like it the most. I got a two pack back in March. I just ran out of it in September. And then I also ordered this package from Abercrombie weeks ago. I ordered two pairs of jeans that are the exact same in different sizes. And then I ordered, I like don't even remember what I ordered because it was so long long ago. Should I do a little try on? I mean, I don't dislike them. I feel like they're a little bit tighter in the thighs and like this area than I would have wanted. I also feel like they're a little cropped more than I would have wanted too. I kind of felt like it was giving me a camel toe. I don't know. Now that I'm looking at it in the camera, I like it, but I don't know if I like it in the mirror. I'm so frustrated. I love them. I think they're a little short again. I don't love like the ankle jean look on me. I like it on other people. They're honestly a little big. I have these exact jeans and this exact size and they're too tight so i'm like what like what i can't win i can't same size these are different jeans can you tell with the holes <laughs> they fit better they're still a little big i don't like when jeans end at this length i hate it all i want is to find a cute pair of black jeans all i want and it seems to be impossible these are also jeans that i got from old navy and i was just saving them to see if i liked the abercrombie ones better these ones i like them but i feel like they're just too baggy like i have absolutely no butt you know this is frustrating that group meeting lasted a whole 12 minutes because the professor did not post the assignment that's due on Sunday. And today's Wednesday. Done with school for today, I guess? I'm probably gonna respond to some YouTube comments right now. Good morning, happy Thursday. Last night, I went to a bar. There's this bar that is really popular to go on Wednesdays because it's $1 drink. So I went there. I don't feel comfortable like vlogging when I'm like intoxicated. I should have shown you my outfit. I might have a photo. Both are from Princess Polly, the top and the bottom. Like so cute. But it was a chaotic night. I lost my keys, these keys, as in the keys that have my debit card, my ID, my house key, everything, all my money. I remember being drunk last night, looking for my keys and being like, but my car. Costco card. Like being upset I lost my Costco card. 
so I'm sorry I didn't vlog that. Maybe, maybe one day I will, but we're not, I'm not there yet, you know? Let me know if you want that. The place that we went is really close to my old apartment that I had last year. I wanted to go visit my old apartment. I visited it, and then we were in line to get food. I realized I didn't have my keys, so we went back to the bar. We went to the apartment, did all this thing. Like, it was just like a whole mess, and then they ended up being in the bathroom at my apartment, my old apartment. I'm so glad I had my keys. I literally was going to lose my mind if I didn't have them. But I have class today. The bus is broken, apparently, so they said that they would send out Uber codes. They did not send out Uber codes, so I'm like, what are we gonna do about that? I ordered some shoes. <laughs> I got them from a website called Belk. They're Boasty Madden, but that was like the cheapest place I could buy them. After I bought them though, I got an Instagram ad from Nordstrom Rack, these exact shoes for like $3 cheaper. I was like, should I cancel the order? And then I was like, $3. They came really fast though. But I will link these down below for you guys. I wanted some cute fall boots. I feel like I don't really have any. These ones I feel like are super trendy, but they also are just kind of classic, honestly. I got the same boot in two different colors. How adorable. I hope they fit. And then these are the ones that I'm the most excited for. This is suede and this is like a shinier material, which is nice. They smell kind of funny. They smell like, like something from my childhood. Okay, now I'm going to class. Why are we hiding in these crowded places? Cause when our eyes meet, we drop our poker faces. Yeah, we keep... Just got back home from school. I shipped some Poshmark and to-do list orders. <laughs> That's how I feel. It was 113 degrees. I'm dying. Like literally walking to school today was rough. I thought that I should clean my room. The amount of stress that this is causing me, not it. So we're gonna clean and then I have some like work stuff to do after. I cleaned my entire room. I uploaded my video, did all the description stuff, made the thumbnail. I linked every single thing in the video that I talked about. Every single thing. Which, whew, when I was finding out how much they cost, I was like, my trainer wants me to start stretching more because I have a lot of like issues with my hips and a lot of them would be solved if I stretch. And she told me to set a timer on my phone. It went off an hour and a half ago and I haven't stretched yet. But I think that what I'm gonna do, I don't know if you guys can see, this scone's facing down, this one's facing up. The light in here, it's like literally stickered on to the scones. This one, the light doesn't fall. This one, the light does fall. So I think I'm gonna hot glue it on. I literally forgot to vlog it. I just put the hot glue on. And now we press. If this doesn't stay, I'm gonna lose my mind. We're just gonna let it like sit like that for a while. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. I actually just got back from a spin class. The class was actually DJ's class, who he was on The Bachelor for Tasha season. I guess his name was like Damar on the show. I guess that's his real name. Around here. <laughs> Around here. We call him DJ. He invited two people from Love Island US. I've never seen Love Island US, so I had no idea who they were, but people were like, can I get a photo with you? It was like funny. It was like a meet and greet at the end. Today's a really busy day. I'm really nervous. I have my first set of interviews for my interns. I'm nervous. I've never interviewed anyone. I like prepped a lot last night of like what I want to ask, what I want to tell them. Yeah. But I actually ordered some clothes. I know the shopping addiction, it, it's, we're going to put on a pause, but there was one day where I was like, you know what? Why don't I just get some good staples and then they're like coming in progressively. I got from Princess Polly. I used my code. Actually, I paid for this with my own money and I used my own discount code. Use code Keegan for 20% off. These pants, I've always wanted like a neutral pant and they're like flare. Honestly, I'm not sure if any of these things will fit. I like held them up to my body and I was like, is this too big? Is this too small? Like me and like my low key body dysmorphia. I have no idea what my body type even is. And then I got two pairs of shorts that are kind of like the longer style. So there's these. These look very high waisted and I have a really short torso. We'll see. Also got these. I love this brand of jeans. It's PP. Oh, Princess Polly Denim. That's what that meant. <laughs> I also got this sweater. I feel like I have no sweaters that I really like. I need to really, like put makeup on, look presentable for these interviews. I'm so nervous. I'm nervous. Okay, I'm gonna shower. I'll link my shower head down below, but it's like a rainfall. And then like this thing is stuck upside down by accident, like the holder. So that's why it's like pointing towards the wall. It's supposed to like point down more. You guys have been asking me for updates on it and I love this shower head. Showered, if you can't tell now I'm trying on the clothes these really annoy me because they're so cute however do you see this okay these ones are cute but I think that they are also the slightest bit too big like that's not too big not as big as the last ones but like when I walk I feel them like falling down this is so frustrating these ones I would say fit a lot better except for I would say they are the slightest bit too tight like there's not any extra room I'm annoyed I don't think I like this either like I just feel like a nun I feel like a nun so everything I think I'm returning I got 
got ready. I'm not really loving how I look today. I just packaged a ton of to-do list and Poshmark orders. I'm gonna go to the post office and then after that is my interviews and I'm nervous. Also, I wanted to say, if I didn't already, if you guys applied for the internship and you didn't get an interview or like anything like that, I just like from the bottom of my heart want to apologize. I expected maybe like five people to apply. I had over a hundred applications. I was blown away. It just makes me feel horrible saying no to you guys because that's like the last thing that I want to do. So if you guys didn't get it, I want you to know that I'm so sorry and I would have loved to have you. But there were just so many people that applied. This is my outfit. This top is from Zara. These are from Forever 21. I mean, they're not going to see this half of me so the interview doesn't start for another 12 minutes so i am obviously a little early <laughs> I'm at BMW, the interviews are over. I changed my shirt and then I basically need to get a new battery for my key because it's dead. I kinda wanna ask them a little question I have about my car that's been driving me insane, but I'm like nervous. Cause like, it's a lot of old rich men and then like me. And I feel like they judge me a lot here. And I don't know if it's like, just like my internalized like fears and stuff like that. Like not feeling like I fit in. Like maybe I should like go to therapy for that. But yeah, I'm always like really nervous when I'm here. Cause I feel like they judge me. I feel like they're like, Hello, what can I help you with? nothing. BMW was not very helpful. I'm really annoyed with the person that I talked to. I asked him a question and then he goes, I don't know. And then answered a personal phone call. And I was like, that's rude. And I wear these Princess Polly shoes. I'll link them down below. This dress from Forever 21. I've literally been trying to find the link for it for like 20 minutes for you guys. And I cannot find it, but it's super cute. I'm going to get Margs with a friend, a male friend. Let me spray on some perfume and deodorant while I say thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you liked it. He being the person that's late to things. Yeah, kind of a chaotic ending. This is the deodorant I got this week. I love you guys so much. You rock. If I can find links to this, I'll link it down below, but okay, bye!